Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about kids who are probably braver and sometimes smarter than most people I've ever met. They put their own lives on the line to save the lives of other people. Their stories are incredible, sometimes tragic and always inspirational. I'm Danny Burke and these are the top 10 child heroes who saved lives. Coming out at number 10 now we have Bentley Toon. At just two years old he saved his mother's life using FaceTime. Yes, one day his mother Laura was taking their dog and a foster dog she was caring for out for a walk. The foster dog attacked their dog. Laura tried to break up the fight and got her own finger badly injured. She stumbled back home and began to pass out from blood loss. Once that happened, the injury could have quickly turned fatal. Her daughters were too upset to know what to do, but her two year old son Bentley grabbed her phone and FaceTimed his mum's best friend. She quickly realised something was wrong and got help to Bentley's mum before it was too too late. They say kids are great with technology, I think Bentley might be the greatest. Moving on to number 9 now, we have Riley Braden. At 5 years old, Riley Braden was swimming in a hotel pool with a neighbour. Nearby, a visiting family was sunbathing as their two girls played near the pool. One of them, an 18 month old, fell into the pool and began to sink straight to the bottom. Riley noticed there was no lifeguard on duty and the parents had only just noticed what had happened to their kid. She immediately dove in, she swam 3 feet down to the bottom of the pool and scooped up the baby back to the surface shouting I've got the baby. Thankfully the baby was totally fine although spluttering a little bit. Although she was just five years old she had been taking swimming lessons since she was two years old and both of her parents were former search and rescue divers. Incredible story. Coming in at number eight now we have Bowdy Schoff. In January 2017 a video went viral of Bowdy and his twin brother Brock playing in their room when a chest of drawers fell on top of Brock crushing him and pinning him underneath. Amazingly, Bowdy managed to lift up the bookcase and push it off just enough so that Brock could roll out from underneath it. This video caused a lot of controversy about where the parents actually were in this whole situation, but everyone agreed that Bowdy did an incredible job of saving his brother. At number 7 now we have Kamal Nepali. In 2008, a 2 year old girl fell into a crevice in the Seti river in Nepal. The police and army tried to reach into the 65 foot hole to save the child, but it was just too narrow. Their closest attempt still put them 20 feet from the bottom. Then one of the rescue team members stepped forward with his little brother who volunteered to go down the crevice. He was 12 year old Kamal Nepali. He was given a walkie talkie, attached to a rope and lowered into the darkness below. Everyone was on edge. But then, after hours of trying to rescue the girl, Kamal appeared at the surface with her bundled in his arms. Her father said Kamal was now their son and he also received many awards for his courage. Next up at number 6 we have Tamar Boggs. In 2013, 5 year old Jocelyn Rojas was kidnapped from her front yard in Pennsylvania. Police searched the area for hours. Locals like Tamar Boggs tried to help. It was then that the 15 year old and his friend spotted Jocelyn in a car with a man about half a mile away from the scene. They chased after the kidnapper on their bikes for 15 minutes. The kidnapper then eventually got spooked and and let Jocelyn go. She ran to Tamar and said she needed her mom. The kidnapper was eventually caught thanks to Tamar's description of him and Jocelyn's family calls him their hero to this day. Incredible stuff. Coming in at number 5 now we have Anaia Tucker. In 2011 this 9 year old girl from Georgia USA was walking with her 5 year old sister to get the school bus. Suddenly a truck swerved off the road right towards them. In an incredible act of bravery Anaia pushed her little sister out of the way saving her life and leaving herself still in danger. She took the full impact of the truck. Anaia survived but ended up losing a kidney and one of her legs. When people told her she was a hero Anaia said she didn't really deserve to be one, she just loved her little sister so much. Moving on to number 4 now, we have Michael Boron. In a remote part of Australia, 12 year old Michael Boron was riding with his dad in their truck when it crashed and flipped over. The crash tore his dad's scalp open and left him pinned underneath the truck. They were 200 kilometers or 124 miles away from the nearest hospital with doctors that could have saved his life. Incredibly, Michael, who was injured himself, managed to crawl out of the wreckage and try to use the truck's radio to call for help. When he found out that it was dead, he stripped out the wires and connected it to the spare car battery. His genius hot wiring meant that he could make the call for help that would ultimately save his dad's life. Incredible actions from a 
12 year old. At number 3 now we have Timmy Miles. His mother appeared to be suffering from depression when she drove Timmy and his two siblings out to a remote part of New Mexico. She gave them a lot of pills that she said would help with their cold. She took the same amount herself, everyone fell asleep. Police believed she was trying to end her life and her children's. The car was still running as they all passed out and eventually it caught fire. The smoke woke Timmy up. He tried to put out the fire but when he couldn't he pulled his siblings out of the car but couldn't move his mother. They had to watch as the car was engulfed in fire with his mother inside. That night they had to wait for the flame to die down and then they had to get back inside of the car so they didn't freeze to death. Gruesome stuff. Thankfully they were eventually rescued the very next day with people praising Timmy's incredible courage and quick thinking. Coming in at number 2 now we have Tyler Duhan. In 2014 in Rochester, New York, 8 year old Tyler Duhan was sleeping over at his grandfather's trailer with several other people. In the early hours of the morning the trailer caught fire because of an electrical problem. Tyler went through the whole trailer and woke up 6 people including 2 other kids, all of whom made it out alive. Then he went back to help his uncle Stephen who used a wheelchair. Tragically the flames had become too much at that point and the pair didn't make it out alive. Tyler became a local hero as the boy who saved 6 people's lives and died trying to save a 7th. And finally now at number 1 we have Eitzaz Hassan. Eitzaz was a Pakistani schoolboy who sacrificed his life while preventing a suicide bomber from entering his school on the 6th of January 2014. He was a high achieving student who had openly criticised armed groups such as the Taliban. But he wasn't all words and no action. On the fateful day, a Taliban suicide bomber came to the gate of his school. While his classmates ran inside, Eitzaz confronted the terrorist, stopping him from getting any further into the school. It was then that the bomb vest was detonated. Eitzaz's father said, My son has made his mother cry, but saved hundreds of mothers from crying for their children. Oh, that's depressing. Well, there you go guys, that's the end of the video. Sorry if that got a lot of you down, it got me pretty down. And normally I ask you if you want me to try and find more things to do another part to a video. But with this video, I really don't have to try, I think. There are so many brave and amazing children out there who save lives that we could honestly make this into a 100 part series. But for now, let me know if you want a part 2 in the comment section below. I'm Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next video.